You're back. Have you found my rival? Excellent. Do tell me so I can challenge him to a duel. I see. Well then, no time to waste. I'll go at once. Risha most probably already took control of the tavern. He's ambitious, not heartless, Henry. A lion's heart, that's what he has. Here we are. Listen now. Whoever is the captain of this ship, I challenge him to a duel. Challenge her to a duel, you mean? What? I... I didn't know. No. I won't fight a woman. It's not honorable. I take it you are my rival, and one of us has to perish this day. I respect your decorum, but this is neither the time nor place. Prepare to fight. No. I implore you. You were a slayer before you were a dragon, and know the code of our order. Please, convince her to stop this brawl. I deplore that decision. But if there is no other way, so be it. Captain, on guard. May the best swordsman win. Slayer versus Captain. 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 This must be the jewel of the year. So what do you think I'm doing? I'm the greatest chef ever. When I see scores of dead whales on the beach that must have eaten those same things, I seem twice before preparing them. Your chef -ness. I knew it. Captain Hermosa is the best fighter you'll ever meet. Ah, yes. The Dragon Knight. The island was kind enough to inform me about the veracity of your words. All right, all right. I thank you for choosing me, but there's no need to rub it in. I take it you, sir, are the other smith. I am. So you're the competition, are you? Ha, let's get this over with, then. We'll both make the best sword we can with the paltry materials we have at our disposal. You agree? Very well. May the best man win. Lord, all that hammering is going to be torture. It's a nice little sword, it is. I'm still the finest weaponsmith around. I... I must admit, you have beaten me. No! No! I'm sure your sword is just as good, better even. I'm afraid it just isn't, dearest. No use kidding ourselves. But... no! Oh, please, mighty knight, choose my husband! The Dragon Knight needs an enchanter, lady. And I have just proven I am the best. Simple as that. this happen to us? I just wish we were back home in Ellaroth. Nothing more. I think I have amply proven who's the best fighter on this island, have I not? True enough, but I'll show you every corner of that platform once we get up there. But we won't engage in combat when you're in dragon form, will we? Because that would hardly be fair.
Fair Hermosa proved her skill and shall now be your devoted trainer. Long may she guide you to perfection. by nature's potential with man's wit. The choice is made. These decisions were yours and therefore the proper ones. must be absolute. If it is not, others like Lycan will quickly appear. Remember that. Aren't we hungry for my power? Good. You'll need it in this cheerless palace, and I give it to you freely. Now go, Dragon Knight. May fortune be on your side when you confront the necromancer where he dwells. I can't thank you enough, Your Grace. Me and Jenny are forever in your debt. We will, kind master. May the divine bless you. Oh, Dragon Knight, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. My husband will never fail you. You'll see, he won't. How are you, friend? I hope the book was of interest. Arr! Able seaman. Did all sorts of things, really, though I spent most of my time as helmsman. We usually sail from River Town to various destinations north. It's a good life if you prefer the great open waters to land. But it's not always the safest of careers. Storms, icebergs, and pirates form the commonest of threats. But we once had a close encounter of the pants being kind. With a kraken! And then there was the near fatal descent into the maelstrom! I'll tell you this. Ending up on some strange magical island just isn't as surprising as you think. Not for a sailor, anyway. See you around, friend.
This is the book Elfrith gave you. It appears to be the spell book of an unnamed mage. Most of the spells are too amateurish to be of much use, but one of them catches your attention. It would seem the mage liked to work outside, but often the wind bothered him, so he devised a spell to make it die down. You close the book and put it away. How are you, friend? I hope the book was of interest. Good to hear. I hope it will serve you well. See you around, friend. <laughs> 